That's right, Victoria. We were switched at birth at the hospital. Adi! Remote control emergency. Will you please change the channel before I get severe brain rot? True heir of the vast of fortune. No, that's the volume, Odie. Did you forget everything I taught you? It's the button on your left. Sir oh, is one of Hollywood's first the soap right opera, now, now so a talk show. So gloomy. Well, no, wait. Sir Leo that's Sir Leo. has been under a great deal of stress lately. Ever since he broke up with Paul E, the paparazzi have been harassing him. Paul E is a Siamese supermodel turned actress who co-stars alongside Sir Leo in his latest movie, Cat on a Hot Bin Lid. The movie has gotten rave reviews, but it hasn't done so well in the box office. No, and that's been a huge disappointment for Sir Leo. He hoped his celebrity status would bring this art house film the success of his previous blockbuster. <laughs> Some people have real problems. My remote control doesn't work, and am I complaining? No. Turn it off, will you, Odie? <laughs> I don't think anybody saw us. No one except the entire neighborhood. You look like you just robbed a bank. <laughs> what are you hiding under there, plutonium? An alien specimen? It's moving. Uh, John, please tell me that's a live lobster in there. Hello. Beginning to feel rather cramped, if you don't mind. An articulate live lobster? You cloned me. I have a copyright on that, you know. Garfield, Odie, this is Sir Leo. <laughs> He's going to be staying with us for a little while. He's in need of a vacation. <laughs> Sir Leo? Here? Well, this isn't exactly the French Riviera. Liz is Sir Leo's vet. She thought our house would be a quiet place for him to get away from the paparazzi and recover from his nervous breakdown. That's right. You'll be safe here. The only danger is being bored to death. <laughs> and Odie's saliva. So what's with the nervous breakdown? I thought you movie stars had it pretty easy. Not quite. I was thrown into show business when I was just a kitten. I never lived the life of an ordinary cat. Well, come on then. I'll show you around. But don't expect any special celebrity treatment. Hungry? Famished. If I may, what exactly are these? Uh, fish sticks? Hmm, not sure my nutritionist would approve. Man, movie stars have it rough. I'll eat them if you don't. <laughs> people out there. How did they find you? <sighs> they always do. I guess it's back to the fast lane for me. Or maybe not. I could pretend to be you. I mean, I'm practically identical, right? <laughs> okay, okay. So I, uh, I got a head start on the fish sticks. But no one will notice a difference. Go get him, tiger. I owe you one. Why can't they ever resist the need to... Sir Leo spent an entire day signing autographs and posing hey, with Garfield, fans. Hurry up, we're on TV! <laughs> Unlike his recent public appearances, Sir Leo was in top form. Our crew got the exclusive footage. Sir Leo! 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 
brilliant. You make a better Sir Leo than I do. So? When do I get to ride in the limo? <laughs> Fun, Garfield. Uh, uh, I think I'll go to bed. Hmm. When you get home, I'll have Jean-Louis put you on that papaya diet again. I don't think I like Jean-Louis, whoever he is. Anyway, I hate to make you work during your vacation meal, but I couldn't pass up a TV commercial. Sounds fun. How much uh, work can that possibly be? Scene three, take five. And, and action! Caviar puts the cat in caviar. Meow. Cut! Yes, um, Sir Leo, that was good, but let's try that meow again. Scene three, take six. And, and action! And meow. Cut! Good. Uh, why don't we try it a little more suave <sighs> this time? Scene three, Take seven. Meow. Scene three, take 25. Meow. Scene three, take 57. <sighs> Meow. Scene two, take 74. Well, I guess that's a wrap. To the movie theater, James. Step on it. We're late for the premiere. I'm warning you. There better be popcorn. It's such a Terminator! Hasta la vista, Fiona. It's him! Sir Leo! Sir Leo, wake up! Your fans, they're outside! They want you! No, they want you. Oh, no, 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 no. Here, I, I'm not cut out for this celebrity stuff. I want my life back! Hey, who wanted to ride in the limo? Who said celebrities had it easy? The fans, the paparazzi, they're your problems now. All right, then. They're gonna get a taste of the real me. Or him. Or me. Or... Uh, you know what I mean. My friend, you've just brought me a lot of free publicity. Woohoo! Yeah, we'll see who gets the last laugh. Meow! So predictable. Here's your paycheck, Squeak. Today, Sir Leo fans discovered a different side of their favorite celebrity. Unlike his popular Deverminator character, it turns out the star is a rodent enthusiast. The autograph session ended abruptly when a swarm of mice attacked fans and reporters, forcing them to flee. Could this be the end of Sir Leo's career? Me? A rodent lover? 
I can never show my face in Hollywood again. You mean my face? You stole my life, remember? Well, you can have it back. Anything. Just help me get out of this mess. So you're telling us that wasn't the real Sir Leo? The whole thing was a hoax? A publicity stunt? Yes, that's right. Sir Leo desperately needed a vacation, so oh, we hired a lookalike to impersonate him for a few days. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sir Leo's belching, pie-throwing lookalike. <laughs> Who needs fame when you can be the star of your own house? Because every cat deserves luxury. Caviar puts the cat in caviar. Meow. Well, I do all the work and he gets all the glory. And the paycheck. Life is so unfair. Garfield, dinner! But I'm not complaining. <laughs> I can't believe it's that time of the year again. It seems like it was only yesterday I took down the Christmas decorations. No, actually, it was the day before yesterday. Usually, he gets them down in time for Halloween. Ugh. No, that's not Santa being early. That's my tummy rumbling from lack of food. I heard, I heard, Garfield. The turkey won't be ready for another couple of hours. Another couple of hours. I'll starve. I'll perish. No, I'll starve and then I'll perish. Shh. <laughs> 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 Hey, have that thing sanitized for my protection. Oh, what beautiful voices you have. Here, have a delicious cookie. <laughs> I beg them myself. Oh, my. oh, we get such wonderful goodies when we go door to door singing Christmas carols. <laughs> Shh. The people at the house laugh, gave us figgy pudding. Figgy pudding? I don't even know what it is, but I want it. Hody, it's a Christmas miracle. You can get food for singing. I can sing. <laughs> la, 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 I eat. <laughs> no, you can't come along. I don't want to share the goodies. Hey. I'm coming, I'm coming. Huh. It never fails. Someone always shows up just when I'm trying to wash the floor. <laughs> la la la, la la la, la 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 la. Meow meow, la 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 la. All right, you've been Christmas Carol. Let me have what I deserve. <laughs> Maybe I should have specified the food. Boy, you think that's funny, huh? <laughs> yeah, you're right. It is funny. But watch what happens at the next house. Meow, meow, meow. La, 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 la. Meow, la, 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 la. me to the next house and you'll see it'll be different <laughs> la 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 <laughs> 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 
Miau la, miau la, miau la, 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 la. Is that about it? <laughs> See? I told you it'd be different. This one didn't use a bucket. <laughs> oh, Garfield. That's the worst noise I've ever heard in my life. Oh, hello. Nermo. You sound like an accordion going through a trash masher. I suppose you could do better, Nermo. With one tonsil tied behind my back? Watch this. Hey, Yodi, want to sing back up for me? <laughs> Another caroling cat? I hope you're better than the last one. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Naturally. Here, here's some prime rib, medium rare, with garlic mashed potatoes, yams, glazed carrots, dinner rolls, and honey butter. Oh, and for dessert, figgy pudding. Figgy pudding? Oh. It's like this, Garfield. You either got it or you don't. Oh, they got it all right. Oh, and I want to eat it. Oh. <laughs> In keeping with the holiday spirit, could I interest you fellas in sharing some of that yummy food with uh, me? Huh? No. No? Garfield, when have you ever shared your food with us? He's got a point. Wait, I can help you guys with your singing. <laughs> Go ahead, laugh all you want. It doesn't bother me, I don't care. <laughs> Stop laughing! <laughs> Oh, sorry, Garf. It's just that, well, you teaching someone about singing? <laughs> hey, I have a superb singing voice. Just listen. <clears throat> la, 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 Okay, maybe I could use a few lessons. I'll tell you what, Garfield. We'll let you be our vocal coach if you can hit a high C. <laughs> I scoff. A high C for a singer of my talent? That'll be easy. Just give me a sec to warm up here. <clears throat> Here's the secret. To hit high C, you just yank a hair out of your nose. They do this all the time at the Metropolitan Opera. <laughs> oh! I'll be your vocal coach for a share of all the food you collect. I think 10% is fair. 10%? I won't let you take any less. Come on. I'll be your conductor at the next house. <laughs> let your conductor handle this. No, 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 no. More like this. Meow, 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 meow. Oh. Nice singing there, Coach. It's like this, Garfield. You've either got it or you don't. Come on, Odie. On to the next house. Face it, Garfield. We're adorable, and you're not. I gotta find a way to make myself more adorable. La, 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 la. High voices are cute. I just need to sing higher. La, 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 la. No, no, gotta be a little higher. <clears throat> la, 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 la. I'm getting there. 
La, 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 la. Perfect. Whoa. Mm. La, 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 whoa. la, 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 Hey, that's great, Squeak. We're sure to get plenty of handouts. Remember our deal? We get first claim on any cheese. <laughs> la la la, la la la, la 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 la. Meow la, meow la, meow la la la. la. <laughs> Get yourself another quiet Garfield. <laughs> Excellent. Let me get you a little snack. Maybe a couple of hams. Yeah. Oh, this couldn't be worse. Oh, and to go with them, here's some figgy pudding. Oh. It's no use. I'm a flop as a killer. Oh, what a great sound. Too bad I can't hit notes like that. Wait a second. Maybe I can. <laughs> what? Dinner is ready. <laughs> oh, but Aww. sorry, we're stuffed. I couldn't eat another bite. Oh. Garfield doesn't want to eat? Must be one of those Christmas miracles you hear so much about. <laughs> well, uh, maybe a few more bites. <laughs> And when those two hounds had me cornered in that alleyway, I pounced on a garbage bin, climbed over a fence, and fawoosh, made my way out across the rooftops. Wow, Harry, you are so brave. Hey, that's nothing compared to what happened to me last week when I... Oh, <laughs> Garfield. What's so funny? Uh, nothing. Garfield, it's just that you've always been such a domestic pet. When was the last time you did anything remotely cat-like? Only yesterday, I watched TV all afternoon and then had a full tray of lasagna. See, Garfield, that stuff doesn't really qualify as cat-like. And you know all of this because... Mm. <laughs> Get in touch with your inner cat. That sounds like a lot of baloney to me. Which reminds me, I'm hungry. Let's see, chapter one, cats hunt mice threatening the safety of their household. Hiya, Garfield. What's up? Hiya, Squeak. I'm good. Uh... <gasps> wow, that was pretty good. You almost had me. Harry and Arlene are right. I'm so out of touch with my natural instinct. I've got to do something about it. Chapter two. Cats climb trees. Huh. Well, if I get stuck up there and can't get down? Not like it would be the first time. Come on, Garfield. Act like a cat. <laughs> 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 
with your inner cat, huh? Next time I'll stick to mauling the sofa. There's really no need to go all panicky over this. It's only a matter of minutes before someone rescues me. <laughs> Please, somebody save me, help! Please save me, help! help! If John can't hear me, I know someone who will. Yes, I'm happy to see you too, Odie. Now be a good dog and go fetch John. That's not John, that's his slippers. I want you to go fetch John. No, no, no! If that dog was any dumber, he'd have to stand on a chair to raise his IQ. Just go away, Odie, you're useless. You? Climbing up a tree? <laughs> Not in a million years. Great. Now we're both stuck up in this stupid tree. Hi, guys. Of all the trees in all the world, and you had to pick mine. <laughs> Do you guys know how to get down? Let's see. Cats have the natural tendency to always land gracefully on their feet. How about you jump off? We'll watch. Well, what if no one finds us? What if we stay here for weeks, months, deprived of any food and water? Gee, Nirma, why do you always have to be such a wiener head? Hiya, guys. What gives? Huh? Oh, we're just uh, uh, enjoying the breathtaking scenery. Oh, I see. I was under the impression you might be, you know, stuck up there. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Yes, right, stuck in a tree. <laughs> Moi, I say. And uh, what could possibly make you think that I, a perfectly normal feline, could get stuck in a tree? Well, I don't know. If you say so, <laughs> enjoy the scenery. <laughs> Why did you lie to him, Garfield? He could have helped us. To salvage my eroded reputation, Nermal. And yours, too. Help! Over Help! Here. Help. Over here! No, me! I need to buy myself a new pair. Way too much static. Yeah. Garfield? Normal? Odie? You're up in a tree. And the grass is green, Captain Obvious? How on earth did the three of you get stuck up there? Well, we're not stuck. We're just gathering pine cones. Perhaps you'd like to join us? Come on, Garfield. Don't be a scaredy cat. You can do this. It's easy. Look. Climb up. Climb down. Up. Down. Up, down. Just go fetch that big ladder over there and spare us the climbing tutorial, will you? Climb up and climb down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna break my neck! Somebody help! <laughs> Who's the scaredy cat now, pray tell? Uh, Mr. Mailman, sir! Over here! Hang on. 
Mr. Arbuckle? Uh, uh, do you think you could give us a hand here and pass me that big ladder over there? Uh, sure. Then again, if I pretend I didn't hear you, I could carry on with my morning delivery without any fears of getting maimed by your mangy creatures. Did you just call me mangy? I was voted cutest cat of the county three times in a row, buddy. Take that, you letter carrier, you. That's telling him, Nermal. Ouch, ouch. You mean little furballs! Guys, guys, <laughs> stop it! He totally had it coming. <sighs> Congratulations, guys. You've just chased away the only help we could get. <laughs> I know. We're going to form a chain and lower one of us to the ground so that he can go get the ladder. It's got to work! Who wants to be a volunteer? <laughs> Fine. We'll draw sticks. <laughs> oh, great. I can't believe I let them talk me into this. Garfield, you can let go now. Oh, my. <laughs> Help! Pull me up! Pull me up! Garfield, hang on! That's exactly what I'm doing! Oh, these tongues all slippery! Disgusting! Guys, I'm hanging on for dear life here! <laughs> Sorry, Garfield. At least we tried. Oh, but wait! I forgot about my cell phone. I'm calling Liz at the vet clinic. And tell her what? Please come and rescue your boyfriend from a tree? <sighs> Way too humiliating. Even for me. Oh, please. Can't you put your male pride aside for a sec? This is an emergency situation we've got here. Sorry, guys. I don't want Liz to realize I'm a complete dork. But I guess I could call 911. It's their jobs to rescue people, right? And Liz won't have to know about it. We'll be down out of this tree in no time. What are you doing in the top of that tree? I was just, uh, trying to rescue <laughs> these guys and... <laughs> and that's when I sprained my ankle. Ouch! Oh. Well, it's no Oscar-winning performance, but... Maybe he'll buy it. Let me help you, sir. Uh, fire on Broadway and 5th. Yep, roger that. We're on our way. Hey, come back! Come back! <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Sometimes I get a little squeamish about heights. Really? Aren't you guys trained for this sort of situation? I'm a fireman, not a monkey. This is getting ridiculous. At this rate, the entire neighborhood will join us in this tree. <gasps> I guess it can't get any worse, right? Oh. I just can't wait to watch TV, eat lasagna, and do all non-cat things. See? It wasn't so bad, was it? I... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right, stuck in a tree. <laughs> Wake up, 
Richard. Wake up before you take a wrong step and wind up flatter than fast food pancakes. You were probably wondering how John got into this mess. I can tell you, but it'll have to be quick. Now then. John was having trouble sleeping lately. He's tried everything. <laughs> sleeping in all sorts of different positions. He got a book called How to Sleep. Try drinking a glass of warm milk after a hot bath. But that didn't work because John was unable to drink the hot bath. Then he decided to try counting sheep. But we didn't have any sheep, so we had to improvise. One. Two. Three. Oh. That didn't work either. But it did tire out Odie. Finally, he decided to watch TV. Are you wide awake all night, unable to sleep? Are you so tired all day that you doze off in your oatmeal? All of those. <laughs> then come see me, Dr. Sonambulo. I can enable you to sleep all night through the power of hypnosis. I'm so desperate for a good night's sleep, I'm even willing to try that. John went there the next morning, but he had second thoughts, which is two more than John usually has. I shouldn't have come here, Dr. Somnambulo. People with superior intelligence can't be hypnotized. There's no way you can cause me to... <laughs> when I press this buzzer, you will awaken. Until I press it again, you will think you are a chicken. Better stop him before he lays an egg. Right. Fall asleep because I'm just too smart to be hypnotized. I think you will be a fine subject for the Hypnotron computer. Hypno what? The Hypnotron computer was this thing that Dr. Sonambulo had invented to program people with hypnotic suggestions. I just enter the code for the behavior pattern I wish to implant in him, and he will be properly programmed. I didn't notice, but I guess while the doc was programming John, Odie was distracted by a fly. John Arbuckle, you will fall sound asleep every time you hear this sound. I figured that must be how it happened. John accidentally got programmed with the sound of Odie barking. Only we didn't know it at the time. Now I shall test it and put you to sleep. <laughs> and to wake him up, you just buzz the buzzer again. So I really don't think this is going to work on me. Here, kitty gut. You put him to sleep with this, and then wake him up when he is sufficiently rested. Oh, got it. And keep a careful eye on him. Once in a while, rarely. People under hypnosis have been known to walk in their sleep. And so we headed home. Liz is coming over. She's giving a speech next week to the Veterinarians Association. I should have been a little suspicious that something was wrong. But my mind was on other things, like lunch. I just want you to listen to this speech I have to give. Glad to be of help. This would be a good time to eat. Not that there's ever a bad time. Ahem. My fellow veterinarians, it is an honor to appear before you today. When I was asked to address you, John! John, are you listening to me? Hanging on every word, Liz. All right. 
When I was asked to address you, I asked myself... If you think my speech is so boring it puts you to sleep, you can just take a nap, John Arbuckle. Goodbye! Liz? Liz? Gee, I thought she wanted me to hear her speech. Odie, did you see where Liz went? John dozed off three times during dinner and six while playing video games, and he never even knew it. Finally, it was time for bed. You can try that buzzer thing if you want, Garfield, but it won't do any good. I can't be hypnotized. For a time there, it looked like John was right. <laughs> Quiet, Odie. I'm trying to get John to fall asleep. It finally worked. Shh, don't wake him up. We thought the problem was over, but it was actually just beginning. We sat there watching TV, figuring John was fast asleep. And he was. But something in him had decided to go for a walk. See you later, John. <gasps> John! Where'd he go? Another passenger without exact change. All right. John is sleepwalking. Just like that doctor warned, we have to wake him up. The trouble was, the bus was much faster than we were. We followed the trail of our sleepwalking friend to Vito's Pizzeria. He must have gone out the back way. Any sign of him, Odie? You get help. I'm going to try to wake him up. And that was how we both wound up up here. The trouble is, I keep buzzing this buzzer and it doesn't wake him up. There's got to be a way to wake him up before he takes the wrong step. As I was saying, I don't think there's any way to hypnotize me to sleep. I'll just lie awake here in my bed. Oh. He 
will no longer fall asleep. I'll be right back. While we're here, I think I'll give John a new hypnotic command. You know, guys, I got a good night's sleep and I feel great. I have a feeling my insomnia is gone. Great. In fact, I feel so good, I'm not going to make you any lasagnas right now, Garfield. I'm going for a walk. Hoodie, bark, please. <laughs> Must make lasagnas. Hoodie? Huh? <laughs> Must make lasagnas. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Must make lasagnas. <laughs> huh? <laughs> 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 